Assalamu alaikum, hello viewers. Today we are going to learn about missile guidance systems. Uh, here we will come to know why many types of missile guidance systems are there and how do they work. First of all, let's see the different parts of a missile like at the at the forward part, this is here, this will contains the fuse of the sensors, what detonates the other warheads. So here the fuse of the sensor or the guidance part. Then there is a warhead part and then there is a wing that gives the aerodynamic control over the air to fly uh, and about the direction. And there is a control and the fins are here. The propulsion system is over here. So, here the parts of uh, the basic and main parts of a missile is there. Let's see, there are mainly four types of missile systems are there like active homing, semi active homing, passive homing, beam rider, and command homing. Guidance. There are uh, navigational guidance missile system, ballistic missile systems are also there, and many more uh, uh, sophisticated and uh, more ultra modern missile systems are there. But here I am going to mention you about the more basics, mostly common used guidance systems in the missiles. First of all, let's come to active homing missiles. In the active homing missiles, and the missile is having the uh, transmitter and receiver both parts in the built in in the missile so uh, as it's containing the transmitter and receiver both the antennas so it's uh, about the size it creates a problem so it uh, the missile carry less warhead or uh, less uh, uh, devastating elements and now let's see how a active homing guidance system missile works the active homing guidance system is a fire and forward missiles once you fire the missile once you fire the missile once you fire the missiles you don't have to uh, track the target anymore the missile itself own own several target, uh, track the target and run after the target to attack, uh, to hit the target. Mm -hmm. Like as the missile is having the transmitter and so both the missile will transmit by its own self and uh, it will uh, receive the reflected uh, signals and by this it will track the targets and hit the targets. The semi-active missiles mainly uh, the uh, missile is having only the receiving parts. So, from external part, external uh, radiation sector like uh, or radio sector like aircraft or from a radar station, a radar beam is thrown to the target and the radar reflected to the missiles. Um, and the missile find the target and hit the target. So this is how the semi-active homing missile works. Here the missile is having the only receiving parts and it receives the reflected uh, radar beam from the target. And now see the passive homing guidance missiles. The passive homing guidance missiles here the missile uh, has only the infrared seeking or seeker. It only seek the infrared rays emitted from the target. It can be uh, heat or it can be uh, wave or anything. Uh, but uh, so it uh, seek the heat or the wave from the emitted from the targets and uh, follow the target and hit the target. So. As it, it is a having a seeker, so any other uh, larger heat radiated or uh, uh, radio or electromagnetic wave radiators can restart the missile and deviate the missile from the target. 
let's see about beam rider guidance uh, from the name we can have an idea that here uh, we'll use beam to track the target or hit the target here a flash beam ray is targeted to the uh, tar uh, target from a radar station uh, then the missile uh, goes through the beam line follow the beam line and hit the target the missile is programmed like that way it will follow the line of sight of the beam and uh, it will find the target and it hit the target now the common guidance systems in the common guidance systems uh, there are maybe two or three two or single radar stations here the port thing is uh, both the calculation uh, both the calculation about the target and the missile path are done by the radar stations uh, the missile and target tracking can be done from different radar or from even from the same radar uh, if there is different radar station then there will be link common uh, link where or command link that uh, uh, when the tracking radar will calculate the target position and you will send it to the uh, missile tracking and it will send it to the missile and missile will hit the target so the both radar station is calculating the intersecting point of the target and the missile this is how the common guidance system works that was up to today thanks for watching the videos and please don't forget to subscribe our channel for more warfare related uh, knowledge and uh, educative points thanks